Hi, it's Oliver from Spitfire Audio with a Labs Classic Synths walkthrough. This is a versatile toolbox of rare and iconic vintage synth sounds, including a Moog, Mini Moog, Arp Quadra, Sequential Pro One, and the legendary Roland Juno 60. The Vintage Synthesizer Museum in LA brings these once loved instruments back to life, boasting one of the most pristine collections around today. And with our lab's classic synths plugin, you have free access to parts of that amazing collection. Let's see how it sounds like. Really nice and rich sounding down there. So as you can see, we're hosting these sounds in the Spitfire Audio plugin. Click the links in the description to download the classic synths for free and add it to your lab's instruments collection. You get a bunch of presets here from the before mentioned synthesizers and it's quite nice. You can access ready-made and nicely produced sounds. We have the mod wheel here. The mod wheel adds an extra oscillator or layer to make the sounds a little more complex, a little more interesting, a little wider. So on this one here. Then we have the O here, so the filter to the left is a low pass filter. To the right it's a high pass filter. A bit more so you can hear it. You can of course add it or assign it to a MIDI controller here and make it part of your performance. Then we have the reverb as well. Let's whack it up 100%. Then in some of the presets, such as this one, Dust Collector, and the one and 60, we've recorded actual filter envelope changes. So if you play short notes or staccato, you address those, and the playback is a different sound rather than your typical fade out. And what this means is you can play pads with your right hand and short bass notes with your left hand. <laughs> See, let's make this a little bigger here, change the sounds, pull the reverb up. And of course you can play pads with your left hand and melodies with your uh, right hand. And so on. It's a lot of fun to be had. The one, the next preset. Put the mod wheel up. Ah, oh, this low end again. Really useful having this low synth there. Even putting it under as like a sine wave or something like that under a classical composition. The banker, one of my favorite sounds. Dusty stuff there. A bit of reverb here as well. Let's see how that sounds. <laughs> really 
Really massive sound for a free plugin. Digital control. Really nice how the filter opens. The second sound, as in the mod wheel all the way up. Again, the reverb up. The sound just changes so beautifully. Mini punk. What comes to mind here is potentially put a little arpeggiator on here. <laughs> it's quite cool. Again, put the reverb up, see what the big sound reveals here. It's really versatile for it just to be three or two controls, really. 60. Here, another one of these presets that has the filter envelope change recorded. Cool, maybe dial the reverb down a little bit again. Really nice, it widens the sound if you uh, add the mod wheel. I see chrome. Reverb again. Series 8. Very nice and interesting lead, I'd use that. Berlin here, very short ones. Here I'd probably try some ARP as well, some, some driving stuff.
quite a lot of fun to be had there. Thank you very much for listening and watching. Check out the links in the description to get more info and download the classic Sims for yourself. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye bye.